Years ago, Ukrainian engineer Crix released the Turbo EverDrive. For those who don't know, EverDrive is the product line of flashcards for classic consoles and portables from Crix. The Turbo EverDrive was designed for the North American TurboGrafx-16 and Japanese PC Engine line of hardware. It's currently available for $89. US If you wanted to play ROMs of the cartridges, known as Turbo Chips or Hue cards, this worked perfectly. But for CD-based games, the only alternative was Terra Onion's SSD S3. That is, until March 4, 2023, when Crix released his long-awaited upgrade, the Turbo EverDrive Pro. Now you can play back CD-based games, including CD-ROM, Super CD-ROM, and arcade games. Another new feature that's been long-awaited is the inclusion of save states, with the caveat that they don't always work perfectly and don't work at all with CD-based games. But these upgrades come at a cost. The Turbo Overdrive Pro retails for $220 direct from Crix. Now let's open this up and do a quick physical comparison of the original Everdrive versus the Pro. In the box is a single-sided piece of paper with a QR code to download a PDF copy of the user manual. You can also go straight to Crix.com to download it without the use of a QR code. The only other thing you'll find in the box is the Everdrive itself wrapped in a piece of plastic. The only things found on the Pro for users to worry about are a spring-loaded micro SD card slot, micro USB port for developing and debugging, and a button to bring up the in-game menu. Region detection is automatic, eliminating the need for the user to toggle a physical switch on the side, as the original model had. I don't have any calipers, but the thickness between the two does feel the same, and both feature beveled edges and rounded corners to help ensure insertion into your system won't damage the card slot. Now let's take a look at the menu. By default, it looks exactly like the previous version. Pressing select brings up a configuration menu. Default EXP, or expansion device, was set to TNK2 Audio options allow you to set various audio balance settings, as well as enable stereo sound. In-game combo is where you set your hotkeys for safe states, both saving and loading, and pulling up the in-game menu. You can also view a list of your recently played games. And another feature is the ability to use cheat codes, both for cartridge and CD games. In the system folder, named ED Turbo on the SD card, you can set the default BIOS for CD games. Also located here is the ability to manage your save states and save game data under the Game Data directory. Themes allow you to apply custom themes to the EverDrive menu. I only have a few on my SD card, but some others available at Crix.com allow for custom fonts as well. Let's take a look at Safe State functionality and the in-game menu. When I press Write and Run, or Start, a Safe State is created. If I push left and run, the save state I currently have selected is loaded. This is great when you're wanting to practice a particular trick or are having a difficult time getting past something in the game. If I press up and run, the in-game menu comes up. This as well as save states can also be accessed by pressing the physical button on the EverDrive itself. Let's try Dracula X Rondo of Blood. First I'll press select at the BIOS to make sure there's no save data. One thing I noticed in this game, and some others I tried, is the CD audio doesn't always sync up in cutscenes. You'll see what I mean when you hear the scream that isn't matched up with the sword.
You'll notice here the hotkeys don't work in CD games, and you must either power off and on the console, or press the in-game menu button on the effort drive. Now let's check out Sapphire, an arcade CD game. Right away we can see the clouds aren't displaying correctly, and the graphics of the city in the background aren't properly loaded. I found that if I let the game continue a bit, until it gets to a point where the graphics are correct, and then reset with the menu button on the EverDrive, the graphics display properly afterward. But sometimes the graphics worked fine on the initial load. For comparison, here it is running on a standard SSD S3. No matter how many times I powered off and on the system, there were no graphical issues. Hopefully the EverDrive issue can be fixed with a simple firmware upgrade. And as mentioned at the start, this does work on the Turbo Express and PC Engine GT. Other than replacing all the capacitors, this is completely stock, including the terrible screen. Let's review the options. The basic Turbo EverDrive is $89 US dollars. It can play back cartridges. The Turbo EverDrive Pro for $240 US dollars can play back cartridges and CDs, even on portables that could never use CDs to begin with, features save states, in-game menu, menu themes, and a few other features. But to get stereo audio from CD games, you'll need to purchase an as-of-yet unreleased add-on. It cannot run CD games from the SD card on any variation that included a built-in CD-ROM, such as the Duo line of consoles, though it can be used as a CD-ROM system card if needed. The SSD S3 is $235. It can play back cartridges and CDs, and offers RGB and composite analog video and audio output through a Genesis Model 2 connector. It's not compatible with any variation that included a built-in CD-ROM, because it needs to connect to the expansion port, not featured. It can also be used to dump ROMs from any cartridges you own. The other option is the Super HD System 3, for $320 US dollars. It can play back cartridges, CD games, and even Super Graphics games on non-Super Graphics hardware. It's not compatible with any variation that included a built-in CD-ROM. It can be used to dump ROMs from any cartridges you own. RGB and composite analog video and audio output is also offered through a Genesis Model 2 connector. In addition, it includes HDMI output at 480p or 720p, as well as the ability to use the composite video palette. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has helped you make an informed decision for your TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine.